Welcome to Renfro Lives, and today I'll explain to you all why I believe the new James Bond theme by Billie Eilish is overrated. No Time to Die by Billie Eilish sounds very musically similar to the two previous themes, Skyfall by Adele and Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. Adele's Skyfall performed well sales-wise and was critically acclaimed, while Sam Smith's Writing on the Wall only performed modestly on the charts and received mixed reviews from critics. Personally, and I'm sure most of you out there will agree with me, Riding on the Wall is a great moody ballad with emotional lyrics and vocals from Sam Smith, and most of all, the overall sound of it fits as a James Bond theme song. I can understand why we have this trilogy of moody James Bond theme songs, because that's the atmosphere of the films themselves. But what separates the first two from the one that we have right now is that those songs are good and sound like James Bond songs and Billie Eilish's No Time to Die isn't any of those things. It just sounds like your average Billie Eilish song. She stays in that low vocal tone that we've heard from her a hundred times at this point. For 99% of the song, totally ruining whatever epic atmosphere the song had set up for itself thanks to his very writing on the wall-esque production. And then there's the climax. Billy's four, maybe five second high note near the end of the song, which I'll admit is impressive, but only by Billy Eilish standards. If anything, it made me dislike the song even more because it gave us a glimpse at what the song could have been. In conclusion, I think they should have picked someone else to do the Bond theme this time around. Billy's overall performance isn't powerful enough and the production is way too similar to the past two Bond themes to stand out at all. And that has brought us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when I upload next. This has been Run For Lives and I'll see you all next time.